Hi guys, it's Ray. We are starting a new cup today. Um, this cup I just want like a white shimmery base for. And I'm going to use my Touch of Neon Diamond Dust for that. I have my epoxy mixed up. And because this is going in the base and I want it sparkly sparkly, I'm going to put two little scoops in. Like good sized scoops. And we'll get it on the cup, I'll let it dry, and then I will come back to show you what we're doing with it. So. Okay, so I'm going to move on with this one. I want this to be my back. So I've already pre-cut my vinyls. Um, I cut two matching triangles from this turtle vinyl. And I cut a strip out of the back side to make applying them easier. So I'm going to line up the first one. We're doing kind of a diamond tumbler. I don't know if I mentioned that. I probably didn't. So my top edge is lined up. I'm going to try and hold that tight. I'm going to pull this piece out. it down And turn it around and wrap the other side. Pretty good and we're going to do the same thing at the bottom the vinyl is prepped the same way there's a tiny bubble right there And since this one overlaps this way, I want this one to overlap this way. I like them to do opposites. So, so I'm going to try and lay this one down first. I kind of want it. 
kind of want it a little bit higher. I don't want to mess with that curve at the bottom. Even though this is a straight tumbler, they do still have a little bit of a curve. Um, apply your vinyl, whatever method works for you. If the wet method works better for you, do that. Okay. So I'm going to see if there's room for my decal on this coat. And there is, because it is not going to go over the vinyl whatsoever. So that is good. I just kind of eyeball them. Right or wrong, it's what I do. I'm going to try not to stick this to any of the actual design. I'm just going to try and stick it near the design, but on the clear part. I just don't want to risk messing it up. So, that is on. It is so cute. I love it. The top and the bottom first. Um, I know this bugs people sometimes when I do this without a layer of vinyl in between, or a layer of epoxy in between. Because um, you do sometimes get a little lip depending on where you sit over your vinyl. It doesn't bother me. If it bothers you, do it your way. It doesn't matter. I was trying to figure out what a noise was. It's freaking pouring again. And I believe maybe a storm rolling in. Which means my dog's gonna go bananas. He does not like storms. Hopefully we don't get hail like we did the other day. Okay, so starting these, I know this is wasteful. I generally cannot get them started from the tape they start with. See, it just peels right off and then it's game over. Um, oh, and I may actually have it. Nope. 
the first couple rounds always do that. Hang on. Well, it's small hail this time, but it's hail. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, I'll get it hitting this part of the grass too. This is a lot more than we got the other day, and it seems to be holding a lot longer. Yippee. It's just getting worse. Oh, might be slowing down now. But my poor Jeep is covered, so eh, this can stop anytime. Sorry about that. That was a little wild. So what I was going to say is I sometimes have a hard time getting these started and it's easier just to sacrifice a couple rounds. Sometimes I will even stick a pin pen or a blade through and these little ones don't ever like to stay on their roll. And sometimes I can save some of this that I pull off like that, and sometimes I can't. But I like to make sure I'm able to get around before I start. Okay, so there's our striping. So because these are such tiny little stripes and it's making me a little bit nervous already, I'm going to take my polycrylic, I'm going to get a tiny brush. And I am just going to put a little bead of polycrylic around. If I can open this. Um, around the tape to try and tack it in place. I'm going to especially focus on the ends, but if I get the whole thing, I'm not going to worry about it as much. Um... But I'm going to let this dry, and then we'll be back to get a coat of epoxy on it. Okay, so I am ready to get a coat of epoxy on this. I'm just going to put a 20 ml coat on. I am going to put a tiny, 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 tiny bit of the touch of neon in.
Okay, so I'm going to get a thin coat on here, or a coat on here, whatever, and um, I'm going to let it sit a few minutes, and then I'm going to come back and finish it up once it starts to thicken. This coat doesn't need any additives or anything. Okay, so what I'm going to do to finish this one is I'm going to put some of these little bubbles I bought from Timu on the bubbles on the thing, on the tumbler, the decal. That's what I'm looking for, the decal. Hopefully this is set up enough that they won't travel. I got these specifically for this type of project and when this vinyl came and this decal I was like well that's perfect for those little guys so I'm gonna turn it back on and kind of watch them I feel like that one's moving a little bit Is there my torch on the floor <clears throat> and shift it just a tiny bit. This is fast set epoxy that's been sitting for a bit so it shouldn't it shouldn't take too long for them to stop moving which is why I'm gonna have to watch them for a hot minute. All right so this one is all done the overlapping triangles to make the diamond. Show it to you this way too. I absolutely love this. I love the way this came out with the little gems. I think they're just the perfect little accent. And the bottom's just white. It does have a little nick spot, but it's only at certain angles, so it's kind of not a big deal. And the double pinstriping worked out well, and it all stayed down with the polycrylic, so that makes me happy. I absolutely love this one with the cute little turtles. So that is it for this one. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next one.